name is Chef Curly's channel and welcome if you're new. So basically, this account is not only for adults, it's for young girls just like me who loves to cook. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that little button to be notified every time I post a new video. And let's get right into this video. Okay, so the ingredients for this video will be flounder, unsalted butter, clarified butter, vinegar, lemon, paprika, nutmeg, garlic powder, lemon juice, I have to show it again because I didn't think you guys saw the brand, parsley, and all-purpose flour. Okay, so guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some white vinegar on top of my flounder so where I could let some acid get into it for about 12 minutes. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I'm removing the vinegar from my bowl so where I could use some lemon to basically rub on my flounder so make sure that it's all nice and cleaned. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I am going to add my seasoning, which is the garlic powder, my paprika, and my nutmeg. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I am adding my all-purpose flour to a different bowl so where I could drench my flounder in the flour and remove the excess flour. Because my flounder is all nice and drenched in flour right now so what I'm doing is I'm getting my clarified butter and I'll be adding it to my skillet so that it can melt Okay, because my clarified butter is all nice and melty, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my flounder to my skillet so that to make sure both sides is all nice and cooked.
Okay, so as you can see, my flounder is all nice and cooked. So now I'm just going to cook the other two. So then I'm going to show you guys me making the sauce. Okay, so I cooked all four of my flounders. So now I will be making the sauce, which the only thing I will be needing is my whole butter, which is only one ounce of that. And I will be needing one and a half tablespoon of lemon juice. So right now what I'll do is I'm just going to add my chopped parsley on top of my flounder and then I will just pour the sauce on top of it. Okay, so this is the finished results of this recipe and when I tell you guys it was delicious, I loved it. But there's also a siding to this, which is some spinach. So if you want to see how I made my spinach, I will make sure to put the link in the description. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!